uh, we're delighted uh, now to move forward on the spirit of um, uh, building on better transport and better communities. Even in a city like Leipzig, where um, there's excellent transport, it's still quite a problem that personal will to get out of bed early enough to get here for nine o'clock after two days of a conference uh, and uh, also a gala dinner. It's not unique to Leipzig or to the uh, International Transport Forum. So apologies for being about 10 minutes late, but it doesn't mean to say the will is not there to make sure that uh, in the next three hours there's a very productive understanding, particularly of better transport and better communities, achieving sustainable urban transport, building on what we were doing yesterday afternoon, a, a discussion about livability and sustainability, not just of cities, but of communities. That's where we're going this morning. We will have a coffee break. We will finish at 12 o'clock for those of you who have uh, urgent travel plans uh, leaving Leipzig or other meetings. Let's hear first, though, from Jack Short. Morning, everybody, and thanks for struggling in. I think uh, we all share Nick's uh, sort of certain fatigue, but uh, let's get ourselves energized now because it's the first time in our history as an organization that we've managed to discuss transport in cities. We, we said to the governments for many, many years, this is a crucial issue of policy. 80% of the people live in cities and you cannot just say that's subsidiarity, that's a matter for them. It, it's a matter for all of us and governments can help and governments can set frameworks and that's some of the things we want to talk about. But I just want to say a couple of words uh, before we start, because we have uh, many good speakers, I don't want to take much time. I just want to say a few words about what happened yesterday for those of you uh, who weren't involved in the ministerial session and the more political sessions. Uh, first of all, uh, we had a good ministerial session with a lot of uh, ministers present and uh, a lively discussion about the, the main theme of the conference, doing more with less. Uh, governments, I think, are pretty concerned about that, but they all seemed rather upbeat that they can do more with less. Uh, we have a set of key, key messages which are issued and are available, so maybe you find them a little bit banal, but there are certainly many things in there of interest that governments try to push forward on many agendas. Uh, we had also some very positive news that China expressed its uh, determination to join the forum, so that's really a step we wanted to take, that uh, the forum will really become global, so that's you know, a very big uh, step for us. We also had a review of the first five years of the forum and the ministers are very happy with the direction things are going and they've confirmed that we're going to stay in Germany and we're going to stay in Leipzig and Mr. Mr. Young, uh, Minister, it's such a, Minister Mayor, it's such a pleasure I think to work together with you that we'll all be happy and we know the way the city is contributing increasingly to the forum and your leadership of the cycling tour the other day was commented on by very many people as a, one of the most enjoyable experiences of the event. So that's what we try to do, a lot of substantive things, but also uh, some enjoyable things and some, some nice opportunities to see the city and see the people. And so well done, Mayor, and thanks for that. So we all, the review of the strategic direction of the forum, you know, as I said, was well received by ministers, and so we're going to continue with the direction we're moving. We want to try and strengthen some of the links we have, especially with the private sector, and build up those even further, and further consolidate and extend the geographical reach a bit further. Uh, Brazil now will be our next big target, and uh, Brazil has already expressed an interest in joining, and I hope they will do so soon, and then we will also consider other countries. So. Nick, I think I should leave it to you to get going quickly, uh, make up a few, a few of the minutes we lost, because I know we have many good speakers, and I hope you have an enjoyable morning and a, a stimulating morning. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. I should reassure you that uh, even though some of you may feel fatigue, I have not got fatigue, uh, despite what I think Jack said. Can I thank you as well, uh, Mayor? Uh, I have very strong memories, particularly of 1989 here, and I've been here for the last three years, and I can feel an enormous change in your city, uh, and the way uh, the whole environment, the whole community is changing. Let me invite you to make some opening remarks before we get into the discussion about uh, better communities. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Guten Morgen. Dear Jack, 
dear James Lerner, I'm very happy to welcome you to this discussion on sustainable urban transport and modern mobility strategies in cities. I think it's essential that at this most important conference on transport issue worldwide, the extraordinary challenges on transport in a really rapidly urbanizing world will be discussed from our urban point of view and in close cooperation with the national governments. We as elected mayors of major cities around the world are challenged to take over a great deal of responsibilities to develop our cities, where most of the human population is living today, Jack mentioned, into a direction of a more future-oriented and sustainable society. And transport is a key issue. Even if our cities differ in many ways from the compact European cities like Lyon, Vienna, Stockholm, Leipzig, to American cities like Houston and mega cities like Delhi, represented today here in our discussion, we all are facing a huge common challenge. How to enhance mobility as basis for competitiveness and economic growth, while at the same time to reduce congestion, pollution and noise, protecting the urban environment and improving living conditions for our citizens? That's the question. To find the right political decisions on these crucial topics, which affects the everyday life of our citizens in a very direct way. This is our business and responsibility as political leaders at local level. And we will be only able to tackle these huge problems if all levels of government, the local, regional and national, together with the private actors and the civil society will really closely work together. Think globally, act locally. In Leipzig, for example, we, we had in the last years a rather intensive discussion about our strategic transport master plan, with, which combines the aspects of transport with the challenges of developing a healthy environment for living through rising the use of environmentally friendly modes of transport like walking, cycling and public transport. We managed to almost triple the use of bicycles since 1990. And I'm very lucky about that. Nearly 15% of the traffic is bicycle traffic. To raise the trips by foot in the last 10 years, and the trips by bus and tram. Many people and public pressure groups got involved and participated in many discussions and forums. Most questions came up about how we can successfully support these environmentally friendly transport modes, even if we do not have enough financial resources for all tasks on our level. The question about how we will be able to afford an attractive local public transport system is one of the key questions for my city and for most bigger cities in Germany. For example, in Leipzig we had to reduce the city's budget for public transport from about 70 million in 2000 to 50 million euros today, per year. At the same time, we managed to increase usership in public transport from around 100 million trips per year to over 130 million trips per year. This is no doubt a success, but the question is, will we be able to continue like this in the future when we have to reduce the budget further on? My goal is in the next two years to have a budget of 45 million to reduce again 5 million. I have to do it. I have to do it. There is an urgent need for finding new financing schemes for public transport in urban agglomerations in Germany and I think in Europe and in the whole world and most probably in many of our cities as well. Music